After graduating from medical college in Pakistan, Dr. Azim Khan completed a residency training at Cook County Hospital in Chicago, which is the busiest public hospital in the United States. Most of the top-notch doctors in the United States have been trained there. He trained at Northwestern University Hospital in Chicago, where he did his wound healing fellowship with world-renowned dermatologist David Woodley. Northwestern University is one of the best universities in the United States. Dr. Khan trained with world-renowned wound healing specialist Dr. Richard Clark and received training in dermatology at State University of New York at Stony Brook, becoming an assistant professor in dermatology. He is still working in that capacity and delivers lectures to students and young doctors a few times every year. Dr. Khan also trained with two very famous cosmetic surgeons, Dr. Bisaccia and Dr. Scarborough. All of the doctors that he has trained with are authors of textbooks. And Dr. Khan himself is editing a textbook of wound healing with Dr. Richard Clark, ex-chairman and director of tissue engineering at Stony Brook University Hospital and Medical Center. Dr. Khan is the first American-trained, board-certified dermatologist and cosmetic surgeon in all of South Asia. When many people think of cosmetic dermatology, I know they think of facelifts, which have changed a lot over the years. Can you tell me a little bit about that and how much safer and less invasive they are today? The facelift technique has been around for many years, and um, uh, the major, uh, I would say, breakthrough has been in recent years when we started to look at different ways to reduce the downtime um, so that people can get the facelift done and then go back to work within a week. Uh, we have been able to do so by making it minimally invasive. So we try to cut the, uh, cut the tissue to a very small extent and through a very small hole we, we are trying to achieve the same effect that used to be achieved with the traditional very invasive facelift. The major advantage of uh, the minimally invasive facelift is number one, it's very very safe. The risk of injuring the nerves it has been cut to almost nil. Uh, the patient can go back to work within four to six days. Uh, and in certain instances, they can go, they can have it done on a Friday and they can go back to work on Monday. So uh, by, mini by minimizing the in invasion or minimally invasive facelift is basically very popular because uh, there is no or very less downtime and it's very safe. Dr. Khan, tell me about your qualifications in cosmetic surgery and dermatology. Um, after graduating from Alama Iqbal Medical College in Lahore, I came to the United States and uh, uh, did a residency in internal medicine at Cook County Hospital, Chicago. Uh, became board certified in internal medicine. Uh, then I did a fellowship training in wound healing at Northwestern University Medical Center and Hospital. Um, after which I did a dermatology residency uh, at State University of New York at Stony Brook. I also performed a fellowship over there in wound healing with Dr. Richard Clark and then, and then I became a faculty over there. I became assistant professor in dermatology which I am as of today as well. Uh, I still teach there. Um, after that I actually uh, did a fellowship in cosmetic surgery with Dr. Emil Bisaccia and Dr. Dwight Scarborough. Uh, Dr. Emil Bisaccia is a professor of uh, dermatology at Columbia University Hospital and Medical Center. Um, I am board certified in internal medicine, uh, board certified in dermatology, and I have uh, performed a, a cosmetic surgery fellowship which is approved by American Academy of Cosmetic Surgery. Well, Dr. Khan is a very accomplished clinician, uh, uh, clinical scientist and, and surgeon and I, I, I suppose the most significant thing I could say about his clinical care is that I would be most happy to be under his care and I would be most happy for my family to be under his care. Dr. Khan is one of our uh, uh, very accomplished graduates. He's done his additional year of derm surgery, cosmetic dermatology training. Uh, prior to that, he spent many years working with uh, research in this department with Dr. Clark. He has boards in medicine and dermatology in the United States, uh, which is more accomplished than I am. I only have boards in dermatology and the dermatoimmunology. 
So he is a very accomplished physician with uh, a very extensive training both in der medicine, dermatology, and dermatologic surgery, including cosmetic dermatology. Tell me a little bit about cosmetique in Lahore, Pakistan. I always had the dream of creating a state-of-the-art center of dermatology as well as cosmetic surgery uh, in Lahore, where I came from. Uh, so to pursue that dream after after staying in the United States for about 15 years, um, uh, we have been able uh, to create such a center uh, in which uh, we have uh, tried our best uh, to pick every single thing from a needle to a laser uh, um, and we have uh, paid attention to the finest details that they are the state of the art and they are the finest uh, not only in Pakistan but also um, uh, you can compare them with any standard uh, international standard uh, by any international standard they are the uh, uh, they are the best um, as far as the equipment goes so it's uh, the state of the art um, uh, I would say uh, ultra modern best equipped facility uh, not only in Pakistan but also in the whole uh, South Asia uh, or Asian region I can I can almost uh, say that without any doubt um, also the staff is being trained and picked by me and I have uh, paid um, um, attention to the greatest detail that they do the things right and at a standard which I'm used to in the United States